shuffle. Yes. Okay. Now, why do they call it a sailor shuffle? Because it resembles drunken sailors. Yeah, shuffling their way back to their ship. You know. So as they move down, they're gonna like step and step, step and step. Okay, that's where the look comes in. That's where the name comes in for that step. Now, what happens is a lot of times people intend to do sailor shuffles and they end up messing it up because they do something else very similar to sailor shuffles. Can anybody tell me what's similar to that? Huh? Grapevine. What else? Swivels. Fifth position breaks. You guys heard of fifth position breaks where you cross one foot behind the other foot and then you do this? Those are very similar, but they're still not Seder shuffles. So right now, I need everybody to just kind of get into your own little space. And what I want you to do is place your feet one in one square, the other one in the other square. Okay, so if you look down, you got two squares. I knew I would find a good use for this floor. Awesome, see? You've got to look at the positive side of things. So we've got one foot in each square. Now, right now, everybody place your weight on your right foot. Okay, so all the weight's on the right square. Now what I want you to do is take the left foot, place it in the square behind your right foot. There you go. Now, we're going to take the right foot, we're going to move it to the right one square, sideways. Very nice. Now take your left foot, place it back into the square that your right foot just came from. That's one center shuffle. Say, yeah. Good. Okay, let's try that again. Two squares. We're going to take our left foot. You're going to place it behind the right foot. Move the right foot to the side. Take the left foot and bring it forward. Now, let's do the other side. Take the right foot, place it in the square behind the left foot. Move the left foot to the side and then bring the right foot back in place. This is called a Seder Shuffle. This is the correct technique for a Seder Shuffle. Here. here we go. All the weights on your right foot at this point. Step back left, step side right, step forward, back side forward, back side forward. I've never seen a Seder do it that fast. Especially if he's drunk. Okay, let me come down here a little bit. How you guys doing? Awesome. Hey, long time to see. How are you doing, man? Here we go. Five, six, seven, go. Left side forward. Right side forward. Left side forward. Right side forward. Step back side replace. Back side replace. Back side replace. And back side replace. Give yourself a hand. That hand is out in front of you. Both hands. Very nice. Now what I want you to do is I want you to pull the right hand, just the right hand. Then as you pull the left hand, let your right hand extend back out. And pull the right hand back in. And the left. And the right. And the left. And the right. And the left. And the right. Very good. Now you know you can leave the step. That's it. Okay, you ready? No. <laughs> All right. Now what we're going to do, um, we're going to invite the lady into our slot, but as we invite her in, we're going to rotate so that we're both occupying the slot at the same time. So I need a volunteer from the lady's side. Somebody? Yes. What's your name? Evelyn. Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Okay. All right. So let's say this is my slot from that black pawn to that black pawn. Uh, they look like pawns from a chessboard, don't they? I mean, a little underweight, but... The king and queen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite her into my slot, but I want us to be parallel in the slot. So on step two, one, two. I'm just going to invite her in. I'm going to step out of the slot a little bit, but I want her to be sideways in the slot. Okay. How that happens is I'm going to step out of the slot a little bit with my left foot on one. So I have... One. Now she knows that that path is clear, but I'm going to bring my right hand towards me just a little bit so she knows that I want her to move sideways in that slot. Now I'm going to pull a little bit more on this hand and we're going to do a sailor shuffle. Now I'm going to pull the left hand, then the right hand, then the left hand, then the right hand, and then I'm going to send her back out for her anchor step. 
Okay, we're going to set one, two, sailor shuffle one, sailor shuffle two, sailor shuffle three, and then send her back to her end zone. Easy enough? Thank you. Ladies, let's do your part first. With your right foot, you're going to step forward. You're going to see him move out of your way so you know that there's a path. But instead of going through the path, you're going to feel him tread a little bit on that left arm of yours, and that's going to create more of a side step action versus a forward step action. All your weight should, bless you, should be on your left foot. Yes? Okay. Now, we are in positions to do our stator shuffles. So your right foot's free, cross behind, side with the left, and replace with the right. Do it again with the left foot, cross behind, side, replace. Again, back, side, replace, and back, side, replace. Not too hard, your turn. We're going to set our shuffle with them, and we're going to actually help lead them, hopefully. So guys, what we're going to do is we're going to step, we're going to step back and slightly out of the slot. Bring your right hand and your right shoulder to parallel with your partner. Okay? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> One of these things. Oh, I know. It's hard to push. Okay. Everybody with me? All right. So from here, you're on your right foot side step. Now cross behind with the left foot. One and two. Cross right and step. Left and step, right and step. Here we go. Let's try that again. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Yeah? Yes, sir. That's a really good question. That's a really good question. So let me let me say that so everybody can hear that question and put the camera. The question is, when you place your foot behind, part of my white socks with black pants, when you place the foot behind, do you lower the heel or do you not lower the heel? Okay? So watch me when I dance this and I want, I want to be able to answer your question. So you have one, two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Do I lower the heels? Yes. But I don't put weight on them. Okay, we call it kissing the floor. I kiss the floor because I'm married to the dance floor. Um, <laughs> so yes, you do want to put the heel down. You want to be able to stabilize your weight, but you don't want to put the weight on the heel. So it's primarily on the ball of the foot. Okay, but you can't allow them to actually lower. Any other questions? Wow, you guys are great. Either that or I am. <laughs> okay, now, that's getting them into the slot, getting them parallel, and getting them to do the center shuffle with you. Now we have to be able to send them back out to, the, to their end zone. So, can I borrow you, please? And that's what your name? Joanne. Joanne. Okay, everybody, this is Joanne. All right, not Joanne, it's Joanne. All right. <laughs> Got to put the emphasis. All right, so we're going to invite her in. One, two. Now that we're here, we're going to dance with her for three and four, five and six. On seven and eight, I'm going to pull a little bit stronger on my left hand and kind of guide her back into the slot. And then I'm going to make sure that we square back up for the next triple step. And we go back to our end zone. We should have a nice stretched position in question. And they ask... Um, do I teach six count? Do I teach eight count? It's, it's very important that you understand that swing, whether it be East Coast swing, West Coast swing, shag, any one of those dances that's a variation of swing, hustle, believe it or not, is a variation of swing. All of those dances, the hand swing, DC hand swing, there's so many varieties out there. But guess what? A swing action is any action that you do over two beats of music. So whether you're dancing East Coast Swing and you're doing triple step, one and two, that's one swing action. If I do another triple step, one and two, that's a swing action. 
my back rock. One, two, that's a swing action. Whether I do it in shag, or whether I do it in east coast, or whether I do it in west coast, the styles change, but a swing action is a swing action is a swing action, okay? So when they play the music tonight, I want to see lots of swing and action. Okay, thank you guys very much. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you, Joe.